it's Luca here, and I'm here to talk about the second episode of Majimajo Pures. I know this is a little late coming, but I've been busy with a biology project, which... Uh, working hard on. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this episode was uh, cute. Leaving off right after the first episode, uh, Momoka begins her training to use magic to be a magical warrior. Uh, and there's this really cute scene where she's, uh, trying to use magic to make this, uh, flower vase float, like one of her friends did, and she tried to do that. But she was like, um, you have to absorb the magic from the jewel first, because the little jewels, they have the magic in them, so you have to absorb them into your wand. And <laughs> I just thought that was cute. She was like, oh, yeah, I gotta do that first. <laughs> And then there was another moment where she was in her room using it on her dolls and it ended up uh, floating a bit too high and getting stuck on the ceiling. <laughs> and um, of course, since she is a, a magical warrior, she does have to keep that secret from her family. So her mom comes in and is like, what are you doing? And she's like, hiding her wand. Nothing. I'm doing nothing. <laughs> it's really cute. Uh, also, we did get... Um, Let's see, the victim this week was a soccer player, a young boy who was playing soccer, who I think Rin has a crush on? <laughs> Rin, Rin is just officially, she's like best girl for me because there seems to be so much to this girl that I, I just love her, honestly. Like, I mean, her whole common collected, but she has this, you know, cute, vulnerable side to her. I, I just like characters like that. Uh, the villains, again, <laughs> quite entertaining with uh, Mudako, her scene when she was uh, corrupting the young boy. That, that was funny. Also, I wonder, like, if that's her real hair? I doubt that it is, but her hair is pretty crazy. Like, you can't even fit a hat on. But yeah, in general, this is a good episode. There's not really much to say about it since it's, uh, kind of short, honestly. I mean, the longest part is the second half, but that's mostly because the transformation and attack scenes are pretty long. <laughs> but there's not much really to say about it. The one thing that I do want to say that this kind of weirded me out in the second episode. So at the end, after they uh, purify the boy and, uh, you know, make him good again, what after they purify him, there's this really strange scene in the end where uh, the Jama Danshaku, the main bad guy, uh, literally comes in. He, he literally just poofs in for the girls to see him. It's like, oh no, it's the main bad guy. And they get ready to fight him. And then he just goes, oh, it's not over yet, and just leaves. And that's the end of the episode. Like... What was that about? That was very weird. And I don't really understand why they did that. Especially since the majority of uh, superhero shows or just shows like this that I have seen, they usually don't have the heroes meet the main bad guy until, like, the end of at least a major arc or towards the series finale. So, why did they have them meet the main bad guy in episode two? That's, that, that's kind of confusing for me. Mm. On the plus side, I guess we got an origin story for what the, the, the skull stone things that are corrupting people's dreams. Apparently, those come from a place called the Dark Mountain. So there's some interesting bit of lore there, but I, I just can't help but think there's a bit more to these bad guys. Like, maybe there's some secret final boss that we don't know about. I mean, that I feel like that's what they're trying to go for. I mean, I don't know. You never really know with these kinds of things. If, if that is the case, I'd be very impressed, but... Come to think of it, in the promotional poster, there's this other girl 
who's wearing a black cloak and she seems to have a purple gem with her or something, but maybe there's a dark magical girl? That I think that's what she might be. I don't know. She hasn't appeared yet. But I think that's what might be going on. Uh, so yeah, that's definitely something I'm going to look forward to next time. But in any case, that's really all I have to say. I'll leave a link so you can watch the episode for yourself. Uh, give your thoughts on it in the comments. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!